Hello everyone. Thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to add study area location and we're able to create a shape file from that location. Like suppose you're having some locations, suppose you're having some latitude and longitude locations and you're interested to create a study area shape file from that locations. Okay. So these four locations we need to add in arc map. After adding these four locations, we can able to create a polygon shape file and we can able to create a study area. Okay. Suppose this is the lat long for my study area and I'm interested to create shape file from this. Okay. And then we can able to use the shape file to crop our imagery or anything we can able to crop after creating a shape file from this. So like first we need to create a point shape file here. Okay. So to create a point shape file, you need to go to view. In the view, there is a catalog pan. In the catalog pan, there is an option that is a project, then portal and computers. So you need to go to folder where you are working. Okay. So I am working here in E drive and I will create a new folder here. Okay. Just right click new folder. Okay. So I'll provide here location enter again right click now I'm going to create a shape file to add a point here okay new then shape file so this is my folder where I'm saving this file then feature class name I will also give same location file and I want this as a point file, okay? Because I'm interested to add this location. So if you'll right click, go to properties, you'll get latitude and longitude of this location. I suppose you're having latitude and longitude of this locations. You can able to add in RJS Pro. So I'll take point feature. And uh, this is location where it is usually 43 UTM zone is there. So I'll provide a 43 UTM zone, okay? So, just I will select here as a we can able to add from here as well just need to click on this coordinate then projected coordinate system UTM WGS1984 then I am living in the northern hemisphere and I will select WGS1984 UTM zone 43 north just click on ok and then just need to click on the run. Once I'll click on the run, new shape file will create. You can able to see new shape file is added here by the name of locations. I'll go back. Okay. So after that, we need to click on the edit and create option is there. Create. Just click on the create. You will see this point location file is there. It is a location file. Just click here. So it will change into plus icon. So you don't need to click anywhere, just right click and absolute X, Y, Z option is there, absolute X, Y, Z. So you need to check your latitude is in which format it is in meter or degree decimal. So if we'll check this latitude and longitude, if I'll click, right click properties. So this is in degree, dec uh, degree decimal. So this is the longitude. I will just copy and I will paste here in longitude then I will copy this latitude I will paste in latitude so you can able to check your unit okay so this is degree decimal and after that just click on enter okay so once you click on the enter you will see the point is added here if I'll change the color of it just click here you can able to change color and now you can able to see this point is added here. Okay. Right click. Then option is there open attribute table. In the open attribute table, you will see this point we added. If you click on clear, then you will see this point is here. Similar way, we can able to add another point. So just right click. Absolute X and Y, Z. Then take another point. So just right click properties. 
so this is my longitude and latitude and just press on enter so second point right click absolute xy so let i will take this third location so what are the data or what are the point location you are having you can able to add here third is added now i'll add fourth and after that we can able to create a study area shape file from it click on properties so just select this longitude paste again copy this paste enter so this four coordinate i have added here now i will digitize this four corners and my shape file will be created so for that i need to create a polygon shape file point is save again i'll go to catalog okay the right click the new and again shape file this time i will create a polygon shape file so study area so by default polygon is coming and utm zone i will select as the same as a location file and again then we need to click on the run option okay so we are creating a polygon shape file so now you can able to see it is created here polygon shape file so again go to this again go to edit okay so again go to edit and create option is there then take this study area okay and now digitize this location okay so before digitizing it you need to on your snapping tool okay just click on the snapping so once you'll click on the snapping you will see it is showing me the point location okay so just click on this then another second point third point and fourth point i will double click here so my study area is created here so i'll just click on the save and uh, suppose these are my after creating a study area i have this file which is landsat imagery and i'm interested to crop this much of area only okay if i have created the study area so using this study area i can able to crop what is the area i'm interested to crop that i can able to crop so i will go to properties then symbology will change band here that is a five four and three okay just hollow this i will double click here i will take blank and this much of area i'm interested to extract so for that i will need to go to geoprocessing tool okay in the toolbox there is an option that is a spatial analysis tool so spatial analysis tool then there is extraction and extract by mask option is there so input raster is same as this band combination so i'll add here as a band combination and with which mask i want to extract it so this is my study area polygon so i'll take this study area polygon and where you want to save this that location you need to provide and other thing as it is and i will just click on the run we will see that this much of portion only we are going to crop because we are having study area shape file and how to study create a study area shape file if you are having latitude and longitude we can able to add that and we can able to digitize and we can able to create a study area shape file from it so now you can able to see this much of area we have extracted if i uncheck then you can able to see just right click symbology and again you can able to change the band 5 4 3 so this is the landsat 8 data set 
and uh, from that 543 is a false color composite and uh, this way very easily we can able to create a study area shape file and we can able to crop our study area so process very easy just you require latitude and longitude once you are having latitude longitude you can able to create a point shape file here and after creating a point shape file we can able to digitize area and we can able to crop whatever the area of interest we are having so if you're having any doubts regarding all these things you can ask me in the comment sections if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you